Investigators faced with a grisly task. Day three in the search for human remains at a Spring Hill home described as the Hernando House of Horrors. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee, thank you for joining us. Crews spent the day digging, but what they've found so far, investigators are not revealing. Melanie Michael reports from Spring Hill. This street in Spring Hill is where search crews arrived in large numbers for a long day of work, hoping the clues they'd find would bring closure. Secluded by trees, shielded from sight, and shrouded in mystery, these six acres are now the subject of a large-scale search as crews dig through endless dirt looking for remains that could hold the key to closure for families who lost loved ones years ago. I feel bad for the victims, and I hope that they find their, who they are, if they're able to identify them. There's no doubt a dark past still haunts this Hernando home of serial killer Billy Mansfield. The locals who have spent a lifetime here say the history of the home includes allegations of bodies in the backyard. Really? I have a good hunch that there's lots of bodies. For years, moving to Spring Hill came with a warning. Residents were told the house next door was a place of pure evil, where secrets were said to be deep in the soil. But the question now, do those secrets still remain? See, we heard about it a long time ago when we moved here, but we didn't know uh, how close we really were to the property and how many bodies there really were. Since the late 70s, questions have long since loomed on this land, where detectives say women spent their final moments of life terrified and tortured. Now, years later, investigators want to know, are there more bodies buried? That very question has launched a full-scale operation. At this point, it is unclear if those crews will be back on Friday. So far, we have not been told if anything was found. I'm Melanie Michael, 8 on your side.